Hello everyone and welcome back to Zaxtech. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to configure the best settings in QBitTorrent to speed up your downloads. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned torrent user, this guide will surely help you get the best out of your torrenting experience. So let's dive right in. Before we start one thing you should know this settings may or may not work for you just try them out if they don't work you can try other settings. For those who don't know, QBitTorrent is an open source BitTorrent client available for various platforms. It's known for its lightweight design and user-friendly interface. Now, let's start by opening the application and looking at the settings we're going to tweak. First, let's go to the Tools menu and click on Options. From there, select the Connection tab. Here you can change several important settings. The Peer Connection Protocol settings are an important aspect of tweaking QBitTorrent for better performance. Allow connections through both TCP and UTP. This is usually the best choice for most users as it lets QBitTorrent use all available connections. UTP is a microtransport protocol designed to minimize network congestion. It's usually best to leave the port number as default, but if you have any specific requirements, you can change it here. It is recommended to set a port between 49,160 and 65,534. Avoid common ports that might be throttled by your internet service provider. Check the boxes for UPnP stroke NAT PMP port forwarding. This helps in allowing QBitTorrent to communicate through your router without manual port forwarding. You can also adjust the global number of connections and the maximum number of connected peers per torrent. A higher number might improve speed but can also burden your network. A recommended starting point might be 500 global connections and 100 per torrent, but these values can vary depending on your connection speed and stability. Enter 20 for upload slots and 4 for upload slots per torrent. Now let's move on to the speed tab where you can set up limits for uploads and downloads. If you have a limited bandwidth, you might want to set a cap on your download and upload speeds on the global rate limit. Otherwise, leaving it as unlimited usually works best. Also, set the alternative rate limit settings to unlimited. In the BitTorrent tab, you'll find some crucial options that can affect your torrenting performance. Make sure that DHT and peer exchange are enabled, as these help in finding more peers. The queuing settings allow you to limit the number of active torrents. Set them according to your preferences and system capability. This helps manage bandwidth and system resources, especially if you're working with a large number of torrents. In QBitTorrent, the option Do Not Count Slow Torrents in these limits refers to a setting that allows you to exclude slow torrents from the active torrent count, as defined in the queuing setting. Torrents that are downloading or uploading below a certain threshold can be classified as slow. This threshold can be customized here. When you enable the Do Not Count Slow Torrents in these limits option, any torrent that falls below the specified speed threshold will not be counted towards the active torrent limit set in the queuing setting. This means that even if you've reached your maximum number of active torrents, a new torrent can still be started if there are any slow torrents that fall below the threshold. The advantage of this setting is that it can help maintain active downloads, uploads without being held back by torrents that are not making significant progress. It ensures that your active slots are filled with torrents that are progressing at a reasonable speed, improving the overall efficiency of your downloads and uploads. The automatically add these trackers to new downloads option in QBitTorrent allows users to specify a list of tracker URLs that will be automatically added to every new torrent that they download. Trackers play a vital role in the BitTorrent protocol. They are servers that coordinate the transfer of files between different peers in a torrent swarm. By keeping track of where file parts reside on peer machines, they help peers connect with each other, facilitating the download process. By adding additional trackers, you can potentially increase the number of peers that you connect with. More peers often lead to faster download speeds, as you have more sources to download pieces of the file. This feature can be particularly helpful if you have specific trackers that you trust and want to use consistently across all your torrents. It saves you from having to manually add them to each new download. Be mindful of the trackers you add, as adding unreliable or malicious trackers can negatively affect your downloading experience. Next, click on Advanced then find the maximum concurrent HTTP announces. Change the value to say 300. The maximum concurrent HTTP announces setting in QBitTorrent determines how many simultaneous connections the client will attempt to make to the tracker via HTTP. The optimal setting for this could vary depending on your system's resources and network capabilities. Higher values might result in faster response times from the tracker but could also put more load on both your system and the tracker. 
These were some of the essential tweaks that can make your QBinorin experience faster and more efficient. Feel free to experiment with these settings to find what works best for you. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and tech guides. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.